What's up guys, I am awake. Today, we're going to talk about sniping in trials. So first off, no matter how heinous the PvP sandbox gets, snipers will always be relevant in trials. Snipers will always be the strongest weapons in the game, no matter what, at least on paper, right? You have to land your shots and they are hard to use sometimes and the positioning can be a bit tough to master, but if you do that accordingly, you can insta-kill anyone anywhere on the map. So even now with all the weird invis, linear, forerunner stuff going on, snipers still have a place in the meta if you can use them properly. So this guide isn't just gonna be like, it is gonna be how to snipe, but it's gonna be like how to play with a sniper. So like what you should be doing to win rounds. So some of this stuff won't be necessarily just like sniper focus. It might just be like gameplay or positioning focus, but these are basically my tips to win more games with a sniper. Okay, I'm gonna start this off with a super quick kind of ratty tip for players in general. Not necessarily sniper, but just anyone who's playing trials in general, this will apply to you. This is not an honorable tip, but hey, it's in the game, so you might as well do this. So one thing you can do if you do not have a sniper on your team especially, uh, let's say you play out the game and no one on your team has been sniping and the game is getting super close, maybe it's four to four and you need to win this round. You can just throw on a sniper um, between the rounds. Obviously, I'm sure many of you do this already, but if it's something you haven't really thought of, oftentimes if you haven't been sniping in the match and then it gets towards the end of the game, you can throw one on and get a free kill right off the start because they're not expecting you to have one on your team. So anyway, that's just a quick little tip in general for trials. Kind of has to do with sniping, but yeah, basically if you don't have any snipers on your team and the rounds start getting really close to the end of the game, you could just throw one on in between rounds. They're not going to expect it and oftentimes that can lead to a free win. Okay, so now we're going to talk about opening picks. Snipers are definitely your best bet at getting the opening pick in each round. Like I said, you can insta-kill anyone anywhere on the map, so opening a round with a sniper kill is definitely what you should be going for. So I was going to talk about how to get the first pick, like specifically how to take out the other sniper since it will usually be sniper versus sniper a lot of times, but I actually already made a whole video on that, so I will link that in the description. Check that out if you want my tips for countering the other sniper. Okay, so now let's say you got the first pick already, and here is where the biggest mistake I see is made. Some players will get a first pick, which is good, and then they will just sit there. Okay, they won't move up. They'll just sit where they shot the guy from or maybe move over a little and then say like, oh, I'm watching it with my scope in case they revive. No, that's not really what you want to be doing. You don't want to just sit back. You want to get the first pick and then you and your team need to collapse on the other two players to deny the revive. So how do you deny the revive? Well, this can be by throwing grenades or melees. Some ranged melees are very good at this. But more importantly, you need to just be physically there. Like you need to move up and take space and get there so that they can't just revive that person for free. Otherwise, all your work and your ammo just got wasted. One thing I like to do, and this is sniper specific, is I will push up and as I'm pushing up, I'll periodically look at the revive to make sure it's not being gotten. Sometimes you can't get there in time or sometimes maybe they throw a grenade and zone you off. So sometimes you can't get there in time, but I am always like periodically looking at the revive to make sure they're not getting it. And then if they do, I'm in position to just snipe the revive so that we have more time. So yeah, I do look at the revive and go for the revive snipe, but I do it while moving up and taking space. That way you don't want to just sit back where you got the kill from because if you do especially now when there's so many titans running around they could just wall your revive and then you can't snipe it anyway also it's a great time to take map control and to take space away from the enemy so make sure you are pushing up after your kills all right so we have established that you should be looking to open rounds with a sniper kill and capitalize on that how else can you use snipers well you can use them to lock down portions of the map and establish map control for example on Endless Veil, vale, if you can lock down the middle lane with your sniper, your teammates can run into the cubbies here, maybe they have shotguns or fusions or something in the middle, and you can establish um, map control and take away the other team's space. I mentioned this before, but taking away space is the best way to counter other snipers as well. So not only do you gain control of the map and the potential cap point, you also help in countering any other potential enemy snipers as well. 
The next tip I have for sniping in trials is to mix up your angles. So if you are that guy that runs to the same spot and does the same thing over and over and over, it gets very predictable. Um, maybe, it, maybe it doesn't cause you to die, but if nothing else, the other team will just not go where you're looking eventually. So you basically just wasted your chance at an opening pick, which we talked about how important that is already. So if you become predictable, you are much easier to counter snipe because like for me, if I know you're gonna be there, I'll just slide and pre-aim you and I'll just take the shot because I already know you're gonna be over there. But if nothing else, like I said, you'll just get avoided and you'll just be doing nothing. So make sure you are mixing up your angles. Maybe you go to the right side of the lane then the left side of the lane, then you flank one round, then you play aggressive one round, then you go like, you know, mix it up. Don't do the same thing every round, especially as a sniper. I mean, I guess if it's working and they just keep peeking you, that's likely another scenario where your team is better anyway and you're just gonna win that no matter what. So it doesn't really matter what you do. So yeah, that's that's another tip I have for PvP in general. Sometimes people will build bad habits because they say, well, I do this and it works every time or it's been working. I'm like, you need to understand sometimes that your team is just better. So sometimes you're just gonna win no matter what you do, if you know what I mean. So that's how a lot of bad habits get built in the Crucible and in a lot of games. That applies to most games in general, but sometimes you need to think about it and be like, well, would these people beat us even if I wasn't doing that? A lot of times, no. Sometimes if your team is just so much better and you're doing something and it's working, that doesn't necessarily mean that's the right thing. Hopefully that made sense, it's a little confusing, but anyway, that's just another general PvP tip, I guess. So my final tip also has to do with angles, but it more so has to do with like staying alive or just, this can be applied to sniping in general, honestly, or just gameplay. So when you're sniping, you're going to have to look at an area, right? If you're standing there looking at an area, um, you need to work on staying in cover so that you're not exposed to more areas than the one you're looking at. <laughs> okay, let me let me say that in English. All right, um, so when you are looking at an area, you need to make sure that you're using cover in order to not get like blindsided. So if you're looking here, you need to make sure that they can't see you from over here, right? So you stand back a little bit. If you're standing up, they can see you from, so like you open your angle up to being shot at. So make sure that when you're looking somewhere, you only want to be shot like from someone that's in your scope. You don't want to get shot from the side or from, especially now with all these invis people going around, you don't know where people are. You need to make sure that you're holding angles in a way that lets you uh, know where you're getting shot from, right? Like I only hold angles where I know, like if I get sniped or shot at, it's going to be from somewhere on my screen so I can see it. I'm not going to get shot from the side because I, I'm not going to stand here like that. I, I know that if I look here, um, especially if you if you like to more like hard scope, like if you're scoped in for a while, which is fine, especially in trials, it's, there's a lot of that. Um, you need to make sure you're positioned properly and holding your angle correctly so that you don't get like blindsided. Honestly, that's a pretty in-depth topic. I could probably make a whole video on that. I might look into doing that, but yeah, basically just make sure that you're in cover properly and holding the angle in the right way. All right, so that's gonna do it for my trial sniping video here. Uh, hopefully something was helpful or new. As always, I appreciate any support, so leave a like or a comment, it really helps me out. But anyway, I am awake and I'll see you next time.